Hey guys, I'm back with my surgery vlog part 2 so I hope you guys find this video helpful and let's get started. Before we move on to my vlog, I just want to give you guys a little background on Dogfinder Korea. So what is Dogfinder Korea? Dogfinder Korea is a medical tourism agency accredited by the Korean government. Their purpose is to give you guys the best clinic and doctor recommendation and also an inside information on the clinic you desire to go. Not only they will help you with your appointment and online consultation, they will also be helping you book your accommodation, pick you up and drop you off at the airport, help to bargain with the clinic, and also help you run your errands to the pharmacy and supermarket especially when you're unable to do it on your own after the surgery. Wanna know the best part is guys? Dogfinder services are free of charge. So for more information about Dogfinder Korea, visit my blog at sunnydahe.com. Okay, so let's get back to business. I'm going to show you guys the before surgery phase so you guys can see the difference later. Before meeting with the doctors, I have to meet Claire once again to sign my paperwork and get a rundown on the surgery procedure. After consultation with Claire, I was rushed to INO's department for consultation with Dr. Lee. There were lots of interesting things like this one, which is liposuction explanation, and oh, there were books full of patients before and after surgery photos, which was really interesting. Nana, who was assisting me throughout my stay at Panobagi, was explaining to me about the care bag. So if you guys are going to get your surgery done at Panobagi, you'll be getting the aftercare surgery bag. It will be filled with essential things you need such as gel patch, ointment for your stitches, con rounds, and etc. On to the consultation with Dr. Lee, I told him that I still want the same eyes I've mentioned yesterday, but I want my inner crease to be slightly closer to look like tapered. So Dr. Lee said it won't be a problem and he said everything is going to be fine. Here, I'm just waiting for Dr. Oh while reading the aftercare surgery guide that Panobagi gave me. Now onto the consultation with Dr. Oh, he said that he will make sure that my face will look slimmer and more V-line. So I felt really assured and safe with this thorough explanation. And Panobagi is really cool for having two consultations before and after surgery, so I really love it. And finally, the moment you guys have been waiting for. I got a little bit emotional editing this part, but here I am going into the surgery room. And yeah, see you guys in a few seconds. So here I am, a few hours after the surgery. I was awake but still really high from general anesthesia so I kept on dozing off. I remember when I woke up, I really felt sore around my face and I remember also asking the nurse for more painkiller but then she said no because I already had painkiller in my IV. So giving more would be really dangerous. Hey guys, this is day one and my swelling is kind of okay but the nurse said it is expected to get more swollen so I can't really talk right now because I have these patches. Last night I couldn't say because I was throwing up and they said it's normal you get nausea and also headache. The hardest part was actually last night but other than that it was okay so now I'm feeling a lot better and I was walking around the whole time and sending messages to my parents so yay! Hey guys, this is day 2 post-operation day. I'm not as swollen as I thought I would be, so which is good, but this area is kind of swollen. I'm really excited to like have it this well as soon as possible, but I kind of feel like my lips area is still numb. And um, I'm feeling better, it doesn't hurt as much as the first day, so it's good. Hi everyone, this is day 3 of my post-operation vlog. As you guys can see, my face kind of de swell a little, except this area. But I can talk more and I feel more comfortable with myself today. I actually went out to the convenience store with Miyake, walked around and felt really good about myself. The only thing I have a problem is that my mouth 
this area is still kind of a little bit numb other than that i'm okay with it i don't have to wear like ice patches anymore because i don't feel like hot around this area but i still have to wear them so i'll wear it later on i'm feeling a lot better than my first day and the second day post operation really happy about it and i'll keep you guys posted with day four and day five hey guys this is day four after the surgery i still have swelling a little bit on this side but i'm feeling a lot better it's just that this side is still kind of painful sometimes because some of the stitches are here because i did my implant but other than that i'm feeling great and um, i can talk more i'm a lot more comfortable with talking and my lips are a little bit less numb not like few days ago because it was completely numb and i couldn't feel myself when i'm talking and things like that it was kind of weird but now i'm okay i'll go and get my nails done and i'll update you guys for vlog day five during my stay at the clinic, they provided laser treatment for my swelling and it felt really good. Hey everyone, this is day 6 after surgery and as you guys can tell, my face has de swelled quite a lot and um, I'm gonna go out and shop in a bit so really excited. The stitches inside my mouth aren't really that uncomfortable anymore. I'm a lot more used to it now and I just feel great about everything because my face is de swelling. As you guys can see, my chin is slowly starting to show because yesterday <laughs> or like two days ago uh, i had like a double chin effect uh, i still do though but it was really quite swollen to a point that i can't really see my chin but now you guys can see it i'm really happy with the result like so far recovering and everything so really happy feeling great i'm gonna go shopping and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye hi everyone this is one week of the surgery i just got my stitches removed right here and here i can smile now a lot of the discomfort around this area is almost disappearing um it's just that the swelling hasn't really gone down completely going to wash my hair today and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow on day 8 update Hanobagi also provided other treatment like facial massage. It is one of my favorite. It's really soothing and relaxing and also helps to reduce swelling. Hi everyone, this is day 8 after the surgery and my face has gotten so much slimmer and I went to Myeongdong today for shopping and walk around. When I went out this morning, I remember that my face was a little bit more swollen but as soon as I'm like done with shopping, which was like six hours later, I can feel like my face de-swell a little bit more. If you guys have done a surgery, definitely walk more. Um, if you feel dizzy, don't. But if you're okay, just try to walk a little bit more, move around because it will help your face or whatever you did to de-swell faster. I'm really happy today. I never thought uh, I will de-swell this fast because a lot of people, like I've seen other people's blog, vlog, or like videos on YouTube, they kind of de-swell really slow, but I'm more of a faster healing kind of person, so yeah, do keep it in mind that I heal really fast, but I'm really happy with day 8 because I could just take off my mask and eat in public now because uh, my face isn't like as bloated as yesterday or like two days ago, I mean swollen. So I'm very very happy today and I just came back from Myeongdong so my back kind of hurt because I couldn't find a seat at the subway it was really packed and everybody was standing up so i stood all the way up 40 minutes coming back to the guest house so i think i'm just gonna rest a little bit more see you <laughs> here is me getting my inner stitches removed it was a little bit painful but quite manageable and right after that i got my prp treatment from panobagi skincare Finally, on my last day in Korea, for my final checkup, first I went to see Dr. Lee. He said that in this video, I look more awake and sharp now, and he said that my eyes look really pretty. And this is my before and after photos of my eyes. Now on to Dr. O. Oh. He said that I look prettier now and I don't have to worry about the swelling. It will go down after 3 months. So the surgery went really successful and now Dr. O oh is showing me the before and after x-ray photos. 
So here it is, you guys. Moscow. <laughs> Overall, I'm really satisfied with my experience at Pamabagi thanks to Dog Finder Korea. So if you want to know more about Dog Finder Korea, don't forget to visit their website which is dogfinderkorea.com. Also, if you guys are interested, check out Pamabagi website. I will link everything on the description box below and here are their contacts. To watch my surgery vlog part 1, don't forget to click here. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!